Mobile police say there have been several guns on the streets that are stolen, alarming numbers, and it's prompting the department to take action. Our Steve Alexander is standing by in the newsroom now to talk about more in terms of what the department's going to be doing. Steve. Well, it's something you will be seeing, hearing, and reading about very often. And a court case in Mobile this morning highlighted the issue. Terrence Sims went for a bond hearing this morning on a murder charge in connection with the shooting death of Christopher Edwards in Crichton earlier this month. During arguments in court, authorities say the gun used was stolen. It's tragic and it's just unfortunate. Public Safety Director James Barber told the Mobile City Council this week about 1,200 guns are taken each year from vehicles in the city and 80% of those vehicles were unlocked at the time they were stolen. I'm just astonished at that number, 1,200, uh, if, if, am I correct? That's just the city. But Barber says the police department and the city are getting ready to start a special campaign aimed at gun owners. It involves PSAs, or public service announcements. We're working on PSAs on a Lock It Up campaign mm -hmm. about the firearms. Um, there's also been incredible interest because of the recent shooting of Officer right. Tudor uh, from the news stations uh, about creating these PSAs again to really drive that message over and repeat it. Uh, they will come with flyers and as well as stickers to go into cars about locking up these firearms. Mm -hmm. And Barber says there's another step gun owners can take to help police officers record your serial numbers. Only about half of the weapons that we that were reported even had the serial numbers recorded. And so even though we are recovering these weapons, uh, we have no way of knowing that we actually have a deal with stolen weapon. Police want gun owners who have weapons in their car to make sure vehicles are locked. But even better. Absolute safest thing to do is to remove the, the weapon. And you'll hear these three words, lock it up. The campaign should start pretty soon, but the need to make sure weapons are secured is an issue we'll likely hear about in the legislature, too, which starts in less than two weeks. Reporting live from the newsroom, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.